Another question. Do we still believe in the spirit of prophecy in this church? Pastor Jackson, and then let's let it, Pastor Wilson uh, respond. You, you know, I, I, I have believed for so many years that the greatest unifying force in the Seventh-day Adventist church has been the writings of Ellen White. And I believe that at this very minute. Uh, we, we, need, we need the counsel that we can give. We do believe in sola scriptura, but everything that God gifted us with through the writings of Ellen White shines a light on this book. And so for us to say in any way, well, we can just lay those writings aside, that would be very wrong and inappropriate, and that would be, a, in my opinion, a trick of the devil. Uh, that gift was given for us till the day that Jesus comes. It is a blessing to us, and, and, and it is an enlightenment, as I've said, on the Word of God. Pastor Wilson. One of the very specific characteristics of God's last day church, as outlined in Revelation 12, 17, uh, two of them uh, keep the commandments of God and have the testimony of Jesus Christ. And from Revelation 19, verse 10, we understand the testimony of Jesus Christ to be the spirit of prophecy. And we believe that the writings of Ellen White were inspired fully by God and that they are just as relevant today in 2014 as they were a hundred years ago or more. Uh, the Lord, I think, is using today even more those precious writings to point us back to the Bible and to give us practical counsel in almost every area of life, including mission to the cities, which we may talk about yes. in a few moments, how to reach the millions of people in these huge metropolitan areas. So yes, the spirit of prophecy, as I like to say, is one of God's greatest gifts to the Seventh-day Adventist Church. It is just as fresh today as when it was written. Amen. Now that second characteristic listed in Revelation 12, 17 is that God's remnant church will have the testimony of Jesus Christ. Revelation chapter 1, verses 2 and 9 talk about the testimony of Jesus. Revelation 14, 12 talks about the patience of the saints who keep the commandments and the faith of Jesus. And Revelation chapter 19, verse 10, plainly indicates and tells us that the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. Amen. Here we have a clear indication from the Bible that the remnant church will have a special voice that God will provide, which is the spirit of prophecy. This is a mark of the remnant. Now, I believe that God spoke through Ellen G. White as a fulfillment of Revelation 12, 17 to provide God's instructions to his last day remnant church. And I want to thank you for the support that you are giving in your offering towards a special project for the white estate and the spirit of prophecy. Now, as I've said before, and I will say it many times into the future as long as God gives me breath, I believe the spirit of prophecy, the writings of Ellen White, the spirit of prophecy is one of the greatest gifts given to the Seventh-day Adventist Church. Amen. There are many who attack the spirit of prophecy, and we shouldn't be at all surprised. The spirit of prophecy contains direct counsel and truth which the devil does not want available to people. Amen. Listen to this, Selected Messages, Book 1, page 48. It indicates that Satan is constantly pressing in the spurious, that which is not correct, to lead away from the truth. The very last deception of Satan will be to make of none effect the testimony of the Spirit of God. There will be a hatred kindled against the testimonies which is satanic. The workings of Satan will be to unsettle the faith of the churches in them for this reason. All right, here it is. Satan cannot have so clear a track to bring in his deceptions and bind up souls in his delusions 
if the warnings, our reproofs and counsels of the Spirit of God are heeded. If they are heeded, then of course he has lost. That is why currently there are so many attacks against the Spirit of Prophecy. That's why people simply choose not to read the instructions. But this is one of the two important characteristics of the remnant church according to Revelation 12, 17. This is part of the caller ID of who we are.